So welcome back to the next module that is project artifacts. Here we will see artifacts means the project documents, the project stage, project document and the purpose of the seed. So project stage is requirement gathering. What kind of document will be there? When your requirement gathering comes into picture, the document will be questionaries. You will be asking questions. You will be knowing, okay, uh, what requirements are there? What uh, needs to be done to achieve this goal? So this will be the different questionaries coming into picture. The purpose is to capture the details. So you have to know the details about it. When planning stage comes into picture, a project plan or a work breakdown structure that is a low level design is given. And the purpose is for a low level details of that execution. That is the next thing comes into picture is a build where a build document is there where actual technical record will be there. That is the purpose of that. After that comes a UAT user acceptance test. That is a document that is provided UAT document for the project. And when you go into production, what comes into picture that is go live checklist. So there will be a checklist that, okay, these things are happening. These things are done. Okay. Uh, here things needs to be cha changed or in live production, what are the things that are happening? So there will be a checklist when you go live. After that comes the stabilization phase where issues will be there. Okay. These are the bugs to be fixed. This bugs is happening at this level, the priority and the uh, criticality of that is this. So there will be issues report. Uh, in a stabilization phase and handover will be a handover manual where a customer will be con uh, consulted or he will come to know okay these are the things how manually every uh, when you buy go and buy a product there will be a manual with it right so that is a handover manual so this is about the project document so these are the different project stages and we have seen different project documents for that and we have seen the purpose for that so next is Create a project plan for app deployment with CICD. So this is the last and final thing that we are going to look for. So yes, let's take a break over here and move on to our live demo, live implementation of our project.